you abang wan right yes yes you three go to to shed yeah, right yeah 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 uh, I, i drive okay you come in come, uh, let's go you come okay okay we go now oh seat belt must wear seat belt police catch no seat belt saman wo oh yeah but safety is more important than saman right so let's go bro what you say bro monkey no 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 the bro i meant here is brother it's not just bro okay uh we used to use it in schools right so it's kind of hip right now oh now i understand bro <laughs> bro <laughs> going everybody great never feel better kashida how about you kashida me on top of the world what about you fira oh i'm doing great so um what are we going to learn today glad you asked i know how you love grammar so much so grammar relax girl you get panic easily yes fira you must have had some tragic moments with grammar huh But don't worry, today I am going to make grammar super duper simple for you. Yeah, right. But um what's so important about learning grammar? Super question. Understanding grammar will give us better communication and thinking skills, making you a better listener, speaker, reader and writer. Not only that, people will respect you more when you have good grammar. What? Really? How come? Well, a person with good grammar shows that he is well educated and for that people respect you. Simple. Now, today's lucky topic, which has been personally selected by <laughs> yours truly, is something related to pronouns. Now, can anyone tell me what are pronouns? Oh. Well, if I'm not mistaken, a pronoun is a word that refers to people or things. Maybe I can give examples of pronouns. Go ahead, Ruben. You, me, he, she, they, right? Bingo. Those are personal pronouns, but they are more than that. Now, why do we need pronouns? Anyone? Mm, oh, oh. Because they are professional. <laughs> Get it? Pronoun professional. How clever! But come to think of it, pronouns are professionals because they do specific jobs and functions in a sentence. We use pronouns so we don't have to keep repeating a noun. For instance, um, give me a name, please. Any name. <laughs> Abang Wan, right? Yeah. Abang Wan. Okay. Yeah. Let's use Abang Wan. For example, you want to say Abang Wan is going to Abang Wan's office. It's quite long. So you make it shorter by saying Abang Wan is going to his office. Simple and sweet. Mm. The sentence not Abang Wan. Uh, by the way, you are laughing and smiling. Who's Abang Wan? Mm, he's our van driver, Kashida. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, Zafira is using pronouns. She did not say Abang Wan is Ruben, Nina and Fira's van driver. She said he is our van driver. So thanks to pronouns, our speaking and writing are made faster and simpler. Now, pronouns are classified into many many types, but today we'll focus on interrogative and relative pronouns. Relax. Don't worry about the big names, okay? I'll do my best to make it simple for you. familiar okay now interrogative comes from the word interrogate which simply means to ask so interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions right exactly we use interrogative pronouns when we want to ask questions 
For example, there are two types of questions. One question with yes, no answer. For example, let me ask you this. Uh, Ruben, are you wearing an orange shirt today? Yes. Nina, did you have your lunch before you came here? No. Oh. Uh, Fira, may I have your book, please? Yes. For this type of questions, you either answer yes or no. Um, but for the other type of questions, it must be like something longer, right? The answer is longer. We use these questions when we want to get more information. We use words like what, which, who, whom, and whose. What, which, who, who, whose. Could you please say it? What, what which, which, who, who, who whose. Who. Very good. Yes. Do we always use interrogative pronouns at the beginning of a question? Most of the time, these words are placed at the beginning of the question. Um, when do you use what, who, or which? Good question, and I'm getting there. Now, please take these notes. We use who, whom, whose when we want to refer to person or people. So, take down the note. Person or people. For what? Specific for things only. Which is special because we can use this to refer to both things as well as people. Mm, Kashida. Yes, Ruben? Who, whose, and whom can be used at the same or different time? Huh. Good question, too. Well, the spelling are different, right? <laughs> <laughs> and the pronunciation, too. Now, who, like a chameleon, can change its form depending on its function or location in a sentence. So, are we clear now? Mm, I think so. Okay, interrogative pronouns is used to ask questions, right? Correct, Nina. They are WH words. Who, whom, whose, what, which. Brilliant! We use them when we want to get information on someone or something, right? Marvelous! So, lesson one, interrogative pronouns done. Ooh, yeah! Lesson number two, their relatives, their relative pronoun. Um, Kashida, do we use relative pronouns to ask questions too? Thank you for asking. Unlike interrogative pronouns, relative pronouns are used in sentences, not questions. Okay, tell me again, what are the WH words? What, which, who, whom, whose. For relative pronouns, you take out what and bring in that. So it becomes that, which, who, whom, and whose. So these are what we call relative pronouns. So um, why do we use them? What, what's their job? Excited, aren't we? Now, relative pronouns are special because they do two jobs at the same time. They have two jobs? Exactly. Let me give you a sentence. I see a man over there who is waiting for me. Now, in this sentence, who, the pronoun, the relative pronoun, refers to the word man. Instead of saying, I see a man over there, the man is waiting for me, we join two sentences by using the word who. Two sentences? But I heard only one. Well, originally it was two. I see a man over there. He is waiting for me. We connect them and it becomes, I see a man over there who is waiting for me. Now, let me give you another example, okay? I want you to try this. The desk is dirty. It is in the corner. Nina, why don't you try? Okay, the desk which is in the corner is dirty. Very good. What about another example? The children are brothers. They are playing badminton. Fira, why don't you try? Oh man, I hope I get this right. Okay, the uh, children who are brothers... Uh, the children who are playing badminton are brothers. Perfect! Now, I hope you understand what a relative pronouns. Can we use who, which, and that as we like? Okay. Who, whom, and whose refer, again, like interrogative pronouns, they refer to people or a person only. That for people as well as things. Now, which only for things. So, are we clear now? Crystal clear. 
You know what? Now I see why we have to learn grammar. It explains the job of a particular word. What do you mean, Fira? Yeah, it's so deep, girl. I mean, for look at the word like um who, okay? When we want to ask questions, we call it interrogative pronouns. But we want to answer, it's called relative pronouns. I'm impressed. Now this is the difference between a student who understands grammar and a student who does not. So congratulations, you understand what grammar is all about. So when we learn English, we not only learn about the vocab, the words, we learn how language works. Come on guys, done with the question, let's check the answers. Okay. Wow, we you are concentrating. I like this. This is good. So tell me, how do you like today's exercise? Hmm, for me, who always has headaches when uh, learning grammar, I think today you made it really simple and specific. Thanks a lot, Kashida. It's all in your mind, okay? Now, from now on, think of grammar not as your enemy, but think of it as your friend. Well, for me today, I learned a new big word. Interrogate meaning to ask question. We'll use interrogative pronouns when we're asking questions. Again, interrogative pronouns are... What, what which, who, whom, and whose. whose. And what about relative pronouns? That, that which, who, whom, whose. whose. What's the difference? Interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions. Relative pronouns join two sentences together, providing more information about a person or thing. Bravo! Today's grammar lesson is complete! Yay! Mm -hmm.